Hello and welcome to the Health Source Podcast, your source for all things health, wellness and lifestyle inspo. I'm your host, Beck Russell, health and life coach and the author of Life in the Soul Lane. Through conscious conversations, our aim is to inspire and empower you to live your most well, happy and vibrant life. If you're ready to elevate your well-being, you're in the right place. Let's dive in. Hello and welcome back to the Health Source Podcast. I am super excited to be back in your ears for another episode this week. But before we dive into the episode, I would love to just quickly share with you my upcoming nutrition workshop, Nourished, which I think you will really love. So if you are interested in learning how to nourish yourself using food as medicine, this workshop definitely is for you. So if you're listening in real time, the workshop is coming up tomorrow. So that's Tuesday, the 15th of October at 10 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. And of course, if you're not able to make it live, that's no problem at all because I'll be sending the replay out straight after the workshop finishes. So just so you know what we'll be talking about in this workshop we'll be learning about how to create a balanced plate what macronutrients are and how we can incorporate them into our diet i'll also be talking about the timing of meals and how you can optimize your digestion I'll also be touching on food through the cycle and how you can eat through the different phases of your cycle to really support and nourish yourself. I'll be looking at the energetics of food, which is not often spoken about. So I'm really excited to share this topic with you as well. I'll be touching on mindset around food, how much food to consume, meal prepping and planning and honestly, so much more. I'm going to be so in my element sharing this wisdom with you. So if you are keen to learn how to use food as medicine, if you've ever felt confused about what you should be eating, what you shouldn't be eating, definitely jump on to this workshop. I'd love to see you there. If you have any questions, reach out to me. Otherwise, I'll leave the link in the show notes for you to book your space. And without further ado, let's dive into this week's episode. Hello and welcome back to the podcast. I hope you're checking in well, whatever you're up to today, whether you are out on your morning walk or maybe doing the dishes. I'm so happy to have you here. So on our episode today, we are going to be exploring healthy habits. And when I put the call out to my community, this was something that they were really interested in learning more about how to cultivate these healthy habits, which can really form such a solid foundation upon which to build from. If you think about it, the way that we spend our lives really is compiled of all of these habits that we have accumulated and it can really form the nucleus of your life if you think about how much time you spend in your days and your weeks on these activities doing these healthy habits or maybe lack thereof and because of this and because these habits can really form the foundation of your existence they have such immense power to either serve you greatly or to hinder your growth depending on what they are. What you prioritize and how you spend your days really does determine and contribute to your overall state of well-being and health and happiness. So knowing this and knowing that you hold this power in your own two hands can really set you, you can consciously choose to set yourself up for either success or failure depending on how you choose to live your life. And before we get started, I thought I would just kind of define in my terms, what a healthy or what habits are, Um, because we have habits and routines and rituals, which I guess are all kind of similar in a way, but I just really wanted to dive into what habits are. And when I looked up the uh, dictionary definition of this, they were pretty similar as well. So a habit is 
or can be unconscious behaviors and actions that you take. You are probably unaware a lot of the time of the habits that you have. Um, And then obviously there are some habits that you have consciously cultivated as well. So you might even hear yourself say, I have a bad habit of doing X, Y, Z. So these habits can be things that happen on autopilot on a daily basis without you having to really think too much about them. So for example, you might have a good habit of doing your tongue scraping in the morning as soon as you wake up. So that is a good habit. This is beneficial for your health. You might also have a habit of scrolling on your phone at 10 p.m. at night before you go to bed. And so you can see how this is potentially a not so good habit. So knowing this, let's start to explore the concept of habits a little bit more. And, you know, because these are so ingrained in us, we can really sort of get caught up in the everyday, we get caught in these habitual behaviors. Um, we are really creatures of habit and comfort as humans. Um, and when we want to either change a habit or bring in a new habit, this can, I guess, cause a little bit of discomfort. It can sort of rock our foundations a little bit and yeah, just bring up that feeling of discomfort of might feel a little bit abrasive or foreign to you, particularly if you're someone who doesn't necessarily like change. So I guess the first um, course of action for you to do here is to become really aware of your current habits and decipher what is serving you and what isn't. And this is going to really require you to become super self-aware and you can really catch yourself when you're playing out perhaps these negative habits and so yes you will have to just become really really mindful of how you are spending your days and what sort of habits you are holding at the moment so I really want you to after you finish this episode grab your journal or your notebook and just really start to record and jot down how you're spending your days and note what kind of habits and routines and rituals maybe that you currently have. And then from there, you can use this data to decipher what is serving you, what isn't, what's making you maybe not quite feel your best, and maybe also noting some habits that you would like to cultivate and bring into your routine. Now let's talk about how we can break these bad habits. (laughs) So we all have them. There's no shame in it. We're just cultivating self-awareness. We're just bringing awareness to our potentially unconscious actions that aren't serving us. So if you have found a few or you can just think of a few off the top of your head that you want to release, this is great news because it means that you have so much potential, you have a great place to move from with this data as well. Creating awareness is what we really need to be able to take the first step in order to change. If these habits are long-term or deeply subconscious, it might take some time and patience and resilience to remove them from your body and your mind and your awareness. So you can really just show yourself some compassion during this process, especially if you slip back into old habits. Eventually over time, you'll be able to start to replace them with habits that are potentially more supportive for you. Let's talk about growing good habits or integrating good habits into our life. So If you're someone who maybe doesn't really have any current beneficial habits, think of one thing that you could do that you would like to implement into your daily routine. And that's the best place for you to start. So you can create one habit or routine of your chosen activity and making sure that you integrate it in a a day and a time that serves you and that feels achievable for you. And I've got a few examples that I wanted to share with you, some healthy habits that might resonate with you. And if they do, maybe you can give these a bit of a go and see how that feels for you. So some examples might include prepping your food. So food prepping maybe at the start of the week, doing a big healthy grocery shop, trying a new exercise routine, maybe trying some breath work or meditation, 
journaling, tongue scraping, like I mentioned earlier, and also stretching. So these are just some really brief examples. Obviously, there's so many more that you could explore, but here's just a few that maybe you want to try out. And yeah, just feel into whatever feels good for you. Make the commitment to do it for yourself daily as often as you can. But optimally, we want to aim for daily because this is going to help to really kind of cement that into our routine, into our days, into our mind and into our subconscious as well. Committing to these beautiful habits in a regular rhythm will really help to your brain and your body to assimilate them and you will start to reap the rewards of creating these healthy habits that are going to ultimately support your health and your happiness and to support you so you've got a really nice strong solid foundation for you to then go off and live your big life and chase those big goals that you know that you have for yourself. The other thing I wanted to talk about here as well is habit stacking. So you might have heard this term before. Basically what habit stacking is, is that if you do have some existing healthy habits in your days or your weeks already, you want to add some more in this is where you can start to integrate the two so basically what you do say for example if you already get up in the morning and you brush your teeth but then you also want to add in tongue scraping and rinsing your mouth with a nice natural mouthwash for example so you're already doing the brushing of your teeth so then you can add the tongue scraping and the mouthwash to this existing habit And that is what we call habit stacking. So basically, it's not really taking any more time or effort in its essence. So you're just kind of adding a little bit more on top to something that's already existing, but it's going to amplify the benefit that you're going to receive. So this is just a really nice, easy way for you to start to add a little bit more healthy habits and routines to your days. So this is so important. Like I said, it really does form the foundation of your health, your happiness, your life, how you're spending your days in and out are really going to compound over time. These small, consistent daily actions really do add up to big results and big changes. Um, And a lot of the time, these changes aren't going to happen overnight but it's the compound effect it's you showing up consistently for yourself day in and day out that's going to move you from where you are now to where you want to go forming this connection with yourself forming this trust in yourself that you are able to show up each and every day for you and there's no quick fix to this other than you doing the thing that you said you were going to do and showing up for yourself. So that is my take on how to create healthy habits. And we will explore a little bit deeper routines and rituals as well. Um, So let me know if this resonates with you. Let me know if you currently have any healthy habits or if you would like to implement some and what they are. So remember the homework task that I've set for you is to take stock out of the healthy habits that you already have, take stock of how you're spending your days, notice the healthy habits that are supporting you, and also notice the habits that perhaps aren't supporting you and see how you can flip them around maybe start to decrease and remove the ones that aren't serving you and we'll start to add in the ones that you know are going to move the needle on your health and your life. So come over and chat with me on Instagram. My handle is at Russell underscore and let me know what healthy habits you are creating for yourself and let's build a happier, healthier life for ourselves. And this is going to not only ripple out into the collective, but we also will reap the benefits 
personally from our actions. Thank you so much for being here as always. I'll be back in your ears next week. Until then, take really good care of yourself and I'll chat to you again soon. Thank you.